Welcome, Hi. Thomas. Hi, Ian. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Our special guest today on Gearhead Country in the Gearhead Country Garage is none other than Thomas Wade. Howdy, neighbors. <laughs> it's not Mr. Rogers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thomas, my neighbor. Thomas, you've got a lot of songs that uh, talk about cars. Yeah. And I know you are, you like cars. You've had many cars. And it's true. Some which are probably in pieces. And, yes, and, of course. And some were in pieces. Uh, one what? got stolen, and yeah. that was no fun. Tell me a bit about your, your car fun growing up. My car fun. Well, you know what? Actually, cars actually play a really big part in my life when I was a kid. My grandfather was a Class A mechanic, and uh, our family was all about the car. And uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but particularly GM. Yes, you can We're very say much that. a GM family. It's and the F word you're not really supposed okay, to say. Okay, well, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you, whichever F word you mean, I won't <laughs> say either one of them. Um, and uh, very much uh, cars were a part of our lives. And uh, my uncle was, in fact, uh, I wrote uh, the song Zero to Sixty about my uncle, my uncle John. And uh, he's still out there in a Cadillac somewhere. Mm. And, uh, but uh, we used to live out in the dirt roads and we did not drive dirt roads the way people do these days. We, we it was like all or nothing. <laughs> and it was just crazy. The big cloud of dust. Oh yeah, totally. And it, you know, you think about it now, traveling along at that speed, you know, rear wheel drive car with like a lot under the hood, you know. You know, stuff like I remember one time, um, my uncle had a, well, this wasn't that old, 75 Coupe de Ville. And uh, had like a 500 in it. Mm -hmm. And we, whenever he, and we'd t take that to the gigs sometimes, because I we used to play in a band together called the Silver Wings. And uh, I'll never forget how that used to feel, you know, because he'd always drive way too damn fast. And, you know, he'd stomp it, and, you know, those four bells would kick in, right? And just like, it's just like being in a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the Cadillac just would ride along like this. And oh, yeah. It just float down the road. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like life is suspended around yeah. you, you know, it's in this little <laughs> bubble, you know, and everything else going. <laughs> yeah. So, and, yeah, so cars have always been a big part of our lives. I've always had a love of, uh, you know, I really love cars of, you know, the 60s, particularly. You know, all the way up to about 1970, I've mm -hmm. always been big into like Impalas or, you know, the Strato Chief. I mm -hmm. love the Strato Chief, and I still think one of these days I would, I'd love to have one of those. I, you know, I did, I did at one time have a '64 um, something. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? You can, you can say that. You can, you can say, say that word. Right? Okay, '64 Ford Fairlane. Yeah. And uh, we, um, we both made a big impression on each other. <laughs> A lasting impression, <laughs> and uh, no doubt uh, the Ford Fairlane is part of something else. As Jason McCoy says, "I got the scars to prove it." <laughs> yeah, I do have the scars to prove it. I, you know, I can't do like the old, uh, you know, I got, I'll never be able to do the old, you know, take it down to the wood thing because I got a great big one right here. <laughs> they changed the shape of my head. Um, Sixty-four Ford Fairlane, going way too fast down one of the said country roads, mm -hmm. and going across uh, a road back in my hometown and it wasn't probably the best road to take for granted because it was a great big hill and it just so happened somebody was coming over that hill just as fast as I was going and um, you know any physics major will tell you yes. <laughs> that's not good and uh, yeah so they I got t-boned and uh, well not quite t-boned Hit me in the right uh, or the the left front uh, quarter panel and uh, knocked me around about three times. And I dented the door. You know what those doors were mm -hmm. like, right? Yeah. No seat belts, of course. Yeah. In those days. That would be silly. Yeah, and pretty much, you know, like yeah. the the door is going to be pretty More much like those, right? Yeah. So you you get that, but 
there's that big strip of metal on the top, right? Yeah. And I dented the whole thing. And I dented the metal when it went in my head. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that poor old car, I just, it'll never be the same. Neither will I. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, though. I don't know what I was doing driving that car. That's just crazy, really, mm -hmm. when you think about it. But it was fun. Yeah. Good old days. I've got a good story out of it. Yeah. And a good song. Yes. What are you going to play for the us? Wreck of the, <laughs> <laughs> the wreck of the 64 Fairlane. <laughs> Legend lives what color was it? Purple down, down to the... Uh, it was red, red, red two-tone, red and white. <laughs> it was big and it's red and I should have been dead. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> you got that right. Boy, that's a life-changing experience. Oh, well, maybe it smartened me up. Did it? Well, I think so. It just, it lodged, some, it knocked something loose and maybe it fixed me. Maybe that's how I write songs. Mm, you know, I channel messages from the, <laughs> from the aliens. <clears throat> All right, what are you going to play for us, Thomas? Well, I think I'm going to try a little bit of zero with a 60. Okay. Zero, a soissant, as they say. And uh, this is for you, Uncle John, out there, still burning up the roads, staying away from... Is Uncle John Johnny gone? Lott. Is he gone? No, he's, he's okay. still around. He's still yeah, yeah, he's still kicking. <laughs> he's still playing fiddle. He's a great fiddle. He's a great fiddle player. He was, he still is. And he's uh, still out ripping up the highways, and I won't tell you his last name because I want John Law looking out for him. Here he <clears throat> All right, here we go.
Gearhead Country. Thank you kindly, sir. You are very welcome. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, continue my vocal warm up. <laughs> My little video camera has crapped out, so I'm back to this one, which still shoots pretty good. You can do it? Okay, because you're sitting right on the hoist, and I can raise it up and lower it. That's fine. I, I like it, but I can't touch the ground. <laughs> you're like a kid again. <laughs> and then I just match. I match the track up. That this thing records amazing sound. That's it. Cool. And I just re set that up with that, and away we go. And All right, Gearhead Country, Thomas Wade, take one. Welcome, Hi. Thomas. Hi, Ian. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Our special guest today on Gearhead Country in the Gearhead Country Garage is none other than Thomas Wade. Howdy, neighbors. <laughs> this is not Mr. Rogers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thomas, my neighbor. Thomas, you've got a lot of songs that uh, talk about cars yeah and I know you are you like cars you've had many cars and it's true some which are probably in pieces and yes and, of course and some were in pieces uh, one what, got stolen and yeah. that was no fun tell me a bit about your your car fun growing up my car fun well you know what actually cars actually play a really big part in my life when I was a kid my grandfather was a class A mechanic and uh, our family was all about the car, and uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but particularly GM. Yes, you'd be very, very much that. a GM family. It's and the F word you're not really supposed okay, to say. Okay, well that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you whichever F word you mean, I won't <laughs> say either one of them. Um, and uh, very much uh, cars were a part of our lives, and. Uh, my uncle was, in fact, uh, I wrote uh, the song Zero to Sixty about my uncle, my uncle John, and uh, he's still out there in a Cadillac somewhere. Mm. And uh, but uh, we used to live out in the dirt roads, and we did not drive dirt roads the way people do these days. We, we it was like all or nothing. <laughs> And it was just crazy. The big cloud of dust. Oh, yeah, totally. And, it, you know, you think about it now, traveling along at that speed, you know, three-wheel drive car with, like, a lot under the hood, you yeah. know. You know, stuff like I remember one time, um, my uncle had a, well, this wasn't that old, 75 Coupe de Ville. And uh, had, like, a 500 in it. Mm-hmm. And we, whenever he'd, and we'd t take that to the gigs sometimes, because we used to play in a band together called the Silver Wings. And uh, I'll never forget how that used to feel.